Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new season for Diablo 4. It's season 2, the season of blood, and uh, we're going to be playing our hardcore character as a barbarian. Now, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to keep up the pace that I did last season with an episode popping out every day, but life inevitably gets busy, uh, so do bear with me if there ends up being a bit that uh, goes without. Uh, we're also going to be doing a hardcore, uh, sorry, a, a barbarian character on our softcore uh, character on Monday evenings. Uh, so if you're watching in the future, uh, do pay attention to the title of the video uh, to see whether it's the stream, which is the softcore character, um, or the episodic content, which is the hardcore one. And we're going on the seasonal realm. And I think we'll go in at, uh, at veteran. Get a bit more experience and uh, hopefully we won't die from this. Now, the plan for both characters is we're going to be leaning into Thorns. Uh, it's a mechanic that we haven't really explored much. It started small. So, should be good Rain fun. Simple, but no one would miss. Dead. Discarded. Their throats torn open. The church ignored the killings. Even as fear mounted like the bodies. The desperate and the brave fought to end the corruption. But they were too late. It changed them. Nasty. Killed them. Brought them back, hungry. I have fought this plague a long time. We need something different. A survivor with all of their strengths and none of our weaknesses. Someone unexpected. Someone like me. And they'll never see you coming. Awesome. So leaning into the thorns mechanic, uh, there's uh, there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff uh, that we need to do. Let's. Uh, Let's pop into the map because we can straight away uh, claim the rewards for these. In fact, we should have rewards for all of the sections. Yeah, there we go. Interestingly enough, uh, there is new waypoints as well. Uh, so if I pull this out, there's uh, a whole bunch that haven't been uh, discovered. Um, because it's, uh, with this patch, they've tried to aid travel around to different places. Um, so there is, there is a lot more waypoints available, uh, than there used to be. Anyway, claiming rewards. We'll get those. We'll get these. So we've got all the plus to skill points and stuff that comes. And claiming all of that should have given us enough experience to actually gain a level so we can straight away start putting skills in. We're going to be going with Flay and Combat Flay. A little bit of damage reduction, five thorns, stacks up to four times. It's a good start. It's a very good start. Uh, I think we're also going to want... Uh, whirlwind. And probably Furious Whirlwind out of these two. But I might switch that over at some point. Uh, and then we've still got five points down here. Let's, uh... Outburst makes a lot of sense. 
and tough as nails. Do we go straight for Rallying Cry? No, we're going to go Iron Skin so we actually get a defensive skill. And I think we want Strategic Iron Skin. But again, I reserve the, uh, reserve the right to... Uh, to twist these around as time goes on. Mm, choices, choices. Yeah, we could we could push for rally and cry. Two percent extra maximum life as fortify each time you take or deal damage. That gets us fortified very quickly. Yeah, for the for the moment, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it in strategic. Uh, so we've got a couple of uh, skills. We're gonna gain. Uh, skill points quite quickly as we go throughout. So we're, we're almost inevitably going to twist these around. Uh, but the idea is we're going to be flaying, we're going to be whirling. Uh, I do want to select the skill for this. Uh, so we can cycle weapon like that. We want the slashing weapon. And over here I think we're going to want the two-handed slashing weapon as well. Leaning directly into the, the two-handed stuff. And the rain reason for that, uh, we can't actually uh, see because we don't have our um, ability yet. But uh, let's... Uh, the profile is not currently available. Try that. Never good. Never good. I can't do that here. Anyway, let's have a look. Magistrate's emergency notice. Immediate help required for generous pay. Anyone who can fight, visit Magistrate Orem at the office in the Street of Jackals. That's not far away. Also, Hunter's Acclaim board. Ooh, look at this. Kill monsters in the Blood Harvest Zones to increase your acclaim. Oh. Oh, there's going to be some very cool things for us to discover in this. Well, let's uh, go into the Magistrate's office. Our saviour arrives. Missing need fear no longer. I'm not sure I'm your saviour, but... Ooh, yeah, look at that. Super solid. Uh, people have gone missing. More and more each day. Yeah, my people fear leaving these gates at all. You've come. This must be a little more than child's play for a hero such as you. Don't worry. I'll look into it. Yeah, no promises, so. Oh, my merchants will rejoice. I can show you where the last caravan went missing. Bring the abducted home and, well, you'll need only name a reward. All of your gold. That's what we need. Okay, uh, so we need to look for the merchant in Vasily's Reach. We're going to want to still go after Renown a little bit. If I if I pull up the rewards, the extra XP that we get for hitting the various tiers does make a lot of sense. We've also still got the strongholds, side quests, and side dungeons to do. Uh, so there's lots and lots of things that we can consider. We've got to get to character level 25 in order to get that benefit. Well, for now, heading up to Vasily's Reach seems like a reasonable thing for us to do. We could try out Flay, uh, see how it feels, and uh, maybe start getting some items. Now, Iron Skin just has a cooldown, so we'll be able to... 
Can't use it while it's full life. Interesting. I would have thought that we'd be able to... To use it at any time, like preventatively. That's, uh, that's a little bit curious. May as well head down and uh, try some random mobs. Ooh, look at that, making them vulnerable already. Well, Whirlwind isn't the fastest, but it's fine. There's level three. Now, Barbarians have uh, mechanics of Fury and Berserking, uh, which we'll encounter over time. Let's uh, put this in. What are we going to go for? Warcry. Warcry seems like a nice option. We could go Aggressive Resistance. So while Berserking, we gain 25 increased damage and 15% increased movement speed. Uh, that will happen through various triggered effects. If we go Warcry, Warcry would give us Berserking. And we can go for more Fortify. Mm, still not feeling it. I think maybe I'll just uh, just push for more outburst for the moment. Ooh, Pacts granted. So Pacts are a new thing. The Pacts will let us trigger various effects, but we'll learn about them as part of our uh, development, I'm sure. Right. So we're going to go for the uh, Agile, and I want something that says Thorns, or Spikiness, or Dangerous, or something that really leans into what we're doing. Nightmare could work, Nemesis. Shield? Spiky Shield would be ideal. Fix the Tyrant, Underdog, Vandal. Mm, we'll keep Shield. So, Apex Shield. Barreling Shield. That'll do. That'll do for the moment. And we could do our Emblem as well. Uh, which will be this one. Meticulous, that's kind of cool. So, uh, as we as we kill things, we're going to end up improving our skills with, uh, with various weapons, uh, which in turn will give us uh, various bonuses. Um, I think that gets triggered by the Barbarian quest later. So we might not really get to benefit from it for a little bit, but uh, we should gain levels quickly enough. I'm going to want to uh, get a potion for the extra extra experience as well as we go around and do this. I must say, I am liking the thorns. The thorns is feeling like it's it's doing well, especially with combat flay letting it stack up a few times. Level four. There's some Galavine. There we go. We'll just keep leaning on that. Oh my word. 
That is, that is bigger gloves. Executing club, we're not really using the dual wield stuff, but still good to have it. Yeah, they can kill themselves on me quite happily. And we're doing a good amount of bleeding damage on it as well. I'm out of fury. Okay, next one. Make it vulnerable, it should bleed out. There we go. Ew. Ooh, that's getting a bit painful. And he's gone. Lovely. I feel like we're off to a good start. Got some obols, got some shoes. And, of course, we need to think about the season journey. So let's have a quick look at that. Yeah, we don't care about the premium or accelerated versions. Already making good progress on chapter one. There's going to be a hell of a lot, but ooh, we need to pick up Redamine for one of the season journey bits. Well, we'll grab all the gold and everything we can get. Yeah, literally, the more we kill things, the more we flay them, the more thorns we have, and the nastier it is to attack us. We just need to pay attention to our health, obviously. Okay, level five, one more skill point. And we could do weapon expertise. This is what I was talking about before. So for the moment, we'll just put points into 6% thorns up. And we'll have a look at our expertise. Kill monsters to increase the rank of your weapons and unlock better bone eyes. So we're using uh, two-handed... Well, we'll probably end up using two-handed axes, actually. Um... For the moment, we're using two-handed swords, which is bleeding damage. But two hands axes, uh, that leads into vulnerable damage. Uh, and really, that's what we want to be doing. Let's wear this. We'll wear these. All those can get marked as junk for the moment. And I think, yeah, buying buying a two-handed axe sooner rather than later is probably going to be good for us. <coughs> we could also be going around on our horse, but it's it's been a while since I've played, so it's good to get back into the swing of it. I like that our fury doesn't decay too quickly. Ooh, a silent chest. Probably not worth us spending the obols on that just yet. Ooh, this looks nasty. Not too bad, actually. So that's where we need to go, the Wayside Cave, but there is another event nearby that we'll grab. 
Because getting these early and getting the ovals is going to be good for us. Any more Halomos. What's this one? Infested cocoons. Nearly done. Of course, the last one is in the last one. Ooh, random bits of flesh. I'm out of fury. Right, you need to go, Mr. Magus. I'm trying to keep on top of everything. There we go. Nice level up. Still two villagers remain. Crimson Blade. He's new. So we got an axe. Uh, we got a whole bunch of experience from that. And we do have another skill point to put in, which we'll do in just a moment. Yeah, resistances are going to be very important this season. Come on, guys. Just give me give me a moment to do my skill point. I know they're just dying on me, but... Okay. Uh, tough as nails. Continue putting in that. One more point somewhere, and we'll be able to go for... Maybe Pit Fighter. Pit Fighter seems like a good choice. Ooh, so many things. Well, we don't really know what the packs do right now, so let's just focus on pure armor benefits oh yes that's going to be a significant difference now we've got quite a bit of two-handed sword uh, expertise but we are now switching to the two-handed axe <laughs> I do like that little barrier we get. I like that a lot. Yes! Starting to look the part. Purging seller should be relatively easy. Find guys, kill guys. Wow, we already have our first legendary item. Okay, let's see what it is. Attacking enemies with basic skill increases the damage of your next core skill. Fine, it's it's all right. Uh, core skill is whirlwind, so yeah, I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, right. We've got a point to put in. What are we going to put it into? Not swiftness. Booming voice could be good when we start pushing. 
pushing down into things. I think right now we can put another point into Whirlwind. We know we're going to be uh, really pushing as well uh, with Whirlwind as our main attack skill. So that's just a smart choice to increase the damage. Alright, I think that's probably enough little side quest bits. Ooh, he says. Coming out and immediately finding something else to go after. Look at how strong it is. So, one more cave. Next whirlwind will do increased damage as well. I'm out of fury. Carved inspection. Eternity, ferocity, divinity. These are the powers of your stolen birthright, dwindling in the blood of humanity. Claim the blood. Reclaim your birthright. One by. And now you are mine. Well, am I? Because it looks like I just totaled you. Quest complete, blood money. Got a whole bunch of stuff from that. Ooh. That's a cool looking helm. Potent blood. Oh, there's going to be so much stuff to learn this season. So much stuff to learn. Well, we need to head back to Kedbardu. Uh, we could just town portal back. And have a chat with him over there. I like the look of that helmet. That's pretty baller. Right, while we're here, let's um let's have a look at what we've got. We probably want to salvage up a bunch of stuff. For the purveyor of curiosities, we've got 55 obols, so we could get ourselves a key already. And we also probably want to try and make ourselves a potion. Well, can't afford any of these. We need bite berry. Well, that's. Fine, we'll go and get some bite berry after this. We can uh, just pop to the fractured peaks and do that. My skill is unmatched. All right, we may as well salvage all items. Gave us a couple of uh, bits and bobs. We don't really need to repair or upgrade anything just yet. So, for right now, oh my word, look at this. Blood harvest. Yeah. Slay the vampire hordes, rescue villages, impede rituals. And we can get grim favours from it and everything. Oh, right, okay. So, let's go to... Tiermare. We'll... Get the waypoint inside this area. I'm getting completely distracted from the actual quest. 
but I want to check this out. So that's our destination. And hopefully it's not going to be too dangerous for us. I should really be on horseback. What are the... Right, so slave vampires. Yeah, don't know what these things are, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Okay, killing guys. Always happy to kill guys. What is this? Fresh blood lure. I assume we use that to disrupt a ritual. Or something like that. Let's keep our health high. And see what this point is here. Right, requires 50 blood lures to do that. Which would mean killing a lot of things. Hey, there's a bit of Hunter's Acclaim. I love how they just kill themselves on me. That's so satisfying. point to put in, but there's things that we need to deal with nearby first. I'm liking Whirlwind. I'm very much liking Whirlwind. Alright, oh, so that's a Seeker's Key. Pact of Ferocity? I have no idea what a Pact of Ferocity is. Okay. So, we've unlocked the next section of stuff. I think we'll go for th Pit Fighter. Extra damage to stuff nearby and damage reduction from ranged. Alright. Can't do anything with this yet. I assume that's because. Ah, quest item those who fight. Fresh blood lure. So we'll figure that out. That helmet is not quite as good as our current one. This is much better though. I wonder if we're going to have time to kill enough vampires. I hope so. Yeah, that Lycan fighter wasn't going to get me because I knew exactly where he was. There we go. Two-handed axe. Rank one. Extra damage to vulnerable enemies. Which is important because we are making enemies vulnerable. The vampires have taken notice of you. Is that a thing? <laughs> a 
so much for me coming out to get Bite Berry. Oh, I do not like the blood bond. Let's get that gone. So there's a lot of mechanics that we're going to be learning about. I just love how the thorns kills them. This is going to be so much fun this season. Just having things die when I get near them. Now, admittedly... Like any tactic that relies on you getting hit and injured is probably not the smartest one, but... We've got another blood lure from that, and another Seeker's Key. Wow, we've uh, completed the first season tier of the journey. Ooh, and we just got a legendary in there. We'll check it out in a moment. Because there's lots of stuff that we're going to have to have a look at here. Let's use the healing well. Yeah, we're probably not actually going to have time to do what I want. Because we've only got 16 minutes. There's another chest. Pact of Eternity. I feel like I should find out what these packs and things do. So maybe we'll do the actual quest first. I don't have enough fury. Right, blood bond, you go. Down he goes. Alright. Villager, you are free. And yeah, I'm going to keep putting into Pit Fighter for the moment. There is definitely a lot more vampires in this bit than where we started. Try and focus on the vampires themselves. The vampires now see me as a threat. Oh dear. We might need to do like a hasty exit or something. Okay, so that we're nearly done with. That we've got one more villager to save. That we need to find the Bloodseekers and kill them. And I'm assuming that's in this entire section. I'm out of fury. Nice, make him vulnerable. This is going to work so well. Oh, 
definitely take out the blood bond. Cool. Feels like we're almost there. There's a couple more things up here. It's locked. Okay, that altar requires a couple more lures, and we might have time to get that done. I'm out of fury. There's another Sanguine Magus. Level 10. And we totally just burned a whole bunch of corpses. We can upgrade our healing potion. Hey, look at that. Tree of Whispers is going to be very happy with us. Keep moving on because I want to get to that waypoint. Right, you. Can die for me. Don't necessarily want to be standing right on top of all of that pain. Cool, that was the blood seekers. Got a couple of seeker keys there as well. So let's grab all of this stuff. There's a chest. Not ready yet. This is definitely working well. Like, it's not it's not super easy because I'm having to watch our stuff to make sure that we're not uh, uh, not going to die from taking uh, too much damage. And we are right in the middle of everything. But this is uh, this is manageable. All right. Let's uh, let's head back. And then we've got a couple of minutes, so. Oh yeah. Distant enemies have a chance to be stunned. I like that. That's better. Most of this, in fact, all this stuff, I think, can just get salvaged up. So straight under the hammer and we'll get back in. What are these? Ooh, these are the packs. Ah, oh, add to packs to an item. That's interesting. So that's what those are. Now we're we're definitely gonna um, push on with the quest next time uh, and see if we can figure out what the packs are, how we can utilize them benefits we'll get from that but uh, we've got a waypoint to put in over here and then I think we've got time to head back for that altar there we go that's the fat goose in so the altar we saw was just over here that requires 15 blood and that required like loads 
So we'll just head back for this one. Oh, there was a treasure goblin. Don't know where it ended up. But... That's all the packs. I don't know if we get to keep these keys. I assume we don't. So for right now, we'll we'll just get to this altar. Pair of bloodseekers are drawn to the offering. Well, that's one of them gone. They're no joke. They are no joke, but we got them taken out. Okay. We can return to the bounty board to level up, but we can also do that anywhere. So let's go back to Kebbadu. So many items. Uh, those boots are better. Gloves are better. Chest is better. There's going to be a lot of rapid leveling up. Cleansing acid removes all pacts. Interesting. Can be altered at the alchemist to only remove specific parts. That's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with what we've got right now. It's still way too early to be considering what we're doing with any of these bits. So, uh, Hunter Peter, here's a blood lure. I am in your debt, stranger. Did, did you, is that what you needed? Ah, as we go up the tiers, we can claim caches. Hordes of vampires periodically invade areas of sanctuary. Slay them to collect uh, blood lures that could be used to draw out powerful blood seekers. Defeat vampires to gain a claim and earn rewards at the bounty pool. Right, so we now know that mechanic completely. And it looks like there's, there's a lot of uh, tiers of caches and stuff that we can get. Let's grab this one. That looks like a pretty nice axe. Not gonna lie. We're not gonna use the pole arm. It's a big upgrade. Okay, before we finish, let's go into the magistrate's office and see what they have to say. Well, boss spawning soon in Fracture Peaks, that's a nice quality of life announcement. Left an ambush, did he? Uh, yeah, kind of. Alright. Another of the Magistrate's victims. He certainly fit the profile he preys upon. So, Eris, what's happening here? Came looking for the Magistrate too. These vampiric cult members conceal themselves in more places than you'd imagine. Have a look yourself. You'll see what I mean. Yeah, this, um, this definitely looks a bit... Ominous. The blood is human. Dozens of victims. Somehow it is still warm. I've been summoned to the Tomb of the Hallows. Master must be pleased with the wanderer I sent. Had a good feeling about that one. Two barbarians, one druid, and dabbling sorcerer. Not nearly enough. Master needs more to join his blood seekers. Far more. Uh, do we know where to find the magistrate? And with these notes you found, I can. <sighs> That's a bite mark. You're changing, aren't you? No, from the depth of that wound, you should have already. Damn, I don't have the time to spend on this. I need to go after the magistrate, and you're going to have to come along. Okay, we can now obtain vampiric powers. 
It's in the seasonal tab of the inventory. Activate the powers with packs from packed armor, vampiric powers, all draw from the same total packs. Spend potent blood for the option to modify one of three randomly chosen powers. Lock powers can be unlocked and unlocked powers can be upgraded. Okay. Well, let's have a look. So, vampiric powers. Oh my word. That is... That is a lot. So we've got 160 potent blood. We can spend it to upgrade or unlock power as well. Let's uh Can I just activate this? Yeah, we can just equip it. Great. Casting skills heals you for some of your life. Nice. So, either bathe in blood while channeling a skill you form a pool of blood beneath you. I like that. That's one that we definitely want. Or Jagged Spikes. Thorns has a 10% chance to deal a lot of damage. That is really leaning into us. Uh, or Damage Reduction for each 3%. I like all of these, but we're going to get Jagged Spikes. And we are going to equip Jagged Spikes right now. 10% chance to deal 150% increased damage. That means our thorns would do two and a half times the damage. Let's see if we can get another. Okay, we could... Put XP into Undying. We could put XP into Prey on the Weak. Extra damage to vulnerable enemies. Ooh, I like that. Uh, ultimate skills gain 20% cooldown reduction. That's pretty huge. Um, let's go with Prey on the Weak, though. Can we equip it as well? Yes, we can. So we've used up all of our Ferocity. We've still got one Divinity... left I think or do we not have any ferocity oh we don't have any ferocity yet and we need three okay I see so we can we can activate this one but this one can't be activated, and this one can't be activated yet. Uh, let's get Bathe in Blood. So we need more Divinity in order to have that one working. Let's carry on assigning. Your attacks deal 40% of your maximum life is physical damage to nearby enemies. Ooh, I like that. And we can activate that as well. So these two are active. Undying and uh, Hemomancy. Well, let's, uh, let's keep spending and try and... Uh, Try and put XP into ones that we've already got. Uh, jagged spikes, I think. And then we're going to want to look at what we can do with the packs in order to uh, make sure that these are activated. I like, I like this. This is this is very cool. I'm curious to see where that goes. Uh, we are unfortunately out of time for today, though. So thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. I'll sort out the uh, the available points next time because I want to check my notes to see which way I was going to take the character. As always, if you have enjoyed this, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 4. See you soon.